Pixie Dick Dick! Emily here! Emily! Oh, and today we are going to be doing this look right here. Cutesy everyday look that's kind of natural. Today's video is how to achieve this face look thing. Sort of. So this is an everyday, like easy, basic makeup that's kind of cutesy, youthful and radiant. We've got some highlight coming. We've got some cute little pink lips and a nice little subtle eye with just some brows. So let's get into it, shall we? Alright, beginning make sure that we have a damp beauty blender on the side. We'll start with priming the face with four different primers. So we're starting with the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and we're going to make my face look like a complete tomato. Then the Instant Age Rewind which feels a lot like the all those pore removing ones except I find it's really good with fine lines even though I am 18 and probably shouldn't have fine lines. Then we're going to actually use a bit of this Australis finishing spray stuff, setting spray, but I mix it in with my primers just to add that little bit of extra time. The L'Oreal Infallible Matte Primer we'll just put underneath because we're using that foundation. And then we'll just brush out our brows a little bit just to make sure they're going in the right direction. Next up to colour correcting, we're going to use Chi Chi's Colour Correcting CC Creams in, <laughs> I don't know what accent that was, fair and light, mixing them together. And it just gets rid of any sort of blemishes you have, evens out the skin tone and like provides like the perfect base to start putting your foundations on and concealers and contouring and stuff. We're going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Matte 24 Hour Foundation in shade 11 and the Dream Velvet Maybelline Foundation in shade 10. And I actually mix these two together, but I use about a drop of the L'Oreal and about half a drop of Maybelline. Now this is really like full coverage as in it, you can if you want it to be, but you can use a little less and it will just give this really light, like you don't feel like you're wearing heaps of makeup, doesn't look cakey, but it just looks like skin. And I just absolutely love it, especially if you're going for that cutesy, natural, dolly sort of look. So we'll just blend that out, make sure our skin looks super flawless. And then we'll use the Maybelline Fit Me in like literally the lightest shade that they possibly have of the foundation. And I'm using this for a bit of more natural cream contouring because cream contouring can make you look really thick, cakey, and it looks like you've done heaps of makeup. Whereas this literally just lays right into the skin and it's a more of a natural shade than the cream contouring I have. Moving on to concealing, we're using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in shade 15 and Master Conceal in shade 10, which is fair, which is the lightest shade they have. So we'll apply our Fit Me Concealer in places and then we're going to put a few drops of the Master Conceal and mix it in because it's a lot lighter and I use it for highlighting under my eyeballs. Once we have blended all that in, we're going to move on to powder. We're just going to set the face really quickly with this Maybelline 24 hour stay powder. And once we've powdered our face, we will move on to contouring. I use this Korean palette. It's like vegan, cruelty free and natural and stuff. And I love it so much because it's so cheap. And a massive fluffy, fluffy, fluffy fan brush to contour so that it's, there's no harsh lines because this whole look is about making it look as naturalistic as possible with makeup and like making the face not attackingly sharp. So as you can see, I've just contoured and highlighted with that um, palette and with the Real Techniques brush I use for highlighting and for the blush. Now this blush is also a little bit of a highlight, but we will be applying highlight, don't worry. This is the Maybelline something 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 something. Moving on to brows. Brows are important. And I'm using the um, Anastasia Brow Thingo in shade blonde or whatever it is. And I'm going to start by filling in the top and bottom of the like corners. So up on the arch, I usually start at the top of the arch and move down to the bottom of the arch of each one. As I go, I use a cotton wool tip to clean up any edges and then I darken the corners and try to not touch the inside as much as I possibly can. Here's a little eyebrow emoji for you. <laughs> 
So then after I've done that, I start to conceal under the eyebrows. To, so I'm using the shade 10 of that Master Conceal, the lightest one they possibly have, to highlight under the brows and also to give them that sharp, fleeky look. Then on top, I use just the normal Fit Me Concealer because it's lighter than my foundation but not as light as the other one, so it's not going to stand out as much. And then I get a few drops of our foundation and use that on the ends of my fingers to blend in the concealer to make it look seamless so that you don't look like you've just outlined your brows in concealer. Moving on to our gorgeous highlighting palette. I literally use none of it on my face but it just applies so well. It's so creamy. The Glow Kits. I put a little bit under my brows and a little bit on my cupid's bow and my nose. And then we'll move on to eyeballs. We're starting with the Chi Chi Insta Prime Eyelid Brightening Primer thing and it's really good because it makes your eyes look a lot bigger and that's what we're going to want in this. With this we're going to start with a like, matte brown shade which is very similar to the shade I used for contouring. Now I would recommend getting a contour kit you can mix in and then we'll move on to the same as the blush I used earlier. I use a little bit of it because it makes it... Mm, gives a more natural feel because if you can pick up the colour elsewhere in your face it generally means it's more natural and once again seamless. So it it provides just a nice little like transition shade. And then we're going to go back in with that darker brown that I showed you a minute ago but with a finer brush so that we can get right in that crease to make our eyes pop and look bigger. With the Maybelline Colour Stay 24 hour tattoo eyeball thing. It's like this shimmer thing. We're going to put that on and then on top of that we're going to add our Abub shimmer eyeshadow. So only on, yeah, sorry for the close up, but only on the like actual lid we're going to use that. Then the Astralis brow and eyelash thingo extender. We're going to use that first, dry it off a bit and then do a second coat, dry it off and probably do a third because it makes your eyelashes so long. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. Um, and you put it underneath your mascara. So we'll use the Maybelline Falsy Mascara um, in shade just black, I'm guessing. And we're going to apply that on each eye. Wait for a little bit and then apply one more coat. Not so, because I don't like it being like rank and like, what do you call it, spidery. I use my little spoolie to split it up. Now we're moving on to lips. We're going to use the Staniac by The Balm just to stain our lips, then rub off the excess with a cotton wool tip and go over the top with an aloe vera scented thingo. It's a lip balm that is green and you put it on and it's pink. So then you get these really nice shiny, natural shape, natural everything pink lips and they will go different per person because that lipstick changes depending on the person. Now we're going to set our face with lots of rain, <laughs> well setting spray. Once I set once, I dry it off with the fan and then I usually spray a second or third time. Um, and then you can go over with powder if you want. But here's the finished look. It, I think it goes well with blue eyes. I highly recommend. It was lovely to see you guys though and I hope you enjoyed this video. So bye! Oh, and if you can, please like, share, subscribe and all that jazz. And remember, it only takes a little pixie dust. <laughs> Bye.